In this video, we're going to talk about a voltage divider calculation. It's from 2014 past paper, question 14, part B. So when you've got your voltage divider calculation, you need to think about what equation you're going to use. Here we've got the voltage supply, which we can call Vs. We've got two resistors. And we've got no voltages on the right-hand side. We're asked to calculate V out, which is this one here which is going to be our question mark, and we need to make sure we show all working and the final unit in this question. From the data booklet, you will be given the equation V1 over V2 equals R1 over R2. Now, for this equation, we can only use it if there is one unknown. In this instance, there's two unknowns because we don't have either of the voltages. Remember, the 3.7 volts is the voltage supply not the voltage across either of these two resistors. The equation that we can use is the Bayer equation, but this is not in the um, data booklet, so you will need to remember it. So what we can say is V out equals resistance 1 divided by resistance 1 plus resistance 2 multiplied by the voltage supply. So the important part here is to work out which of the two resistors we have is going to be called R1 because you'll see that in this equation it comes out twice. The way to work it out is the resistor 1 should be the resistance of the volt or where the voltage is that you're calculating. So I'm calculating, calculating V out which is the resistor 750 so I'm going to call that R1 and I'm going to call that R2. From there, what we then need to do is we then need to substitute into our equation. So we're going for this equation here. So I've got V out equals R1 over R1 plus R2 multiplied by my voltage supply. When I substitute in, I've got V out equals 750 ohms divided by 750 plus 420 and that is all going to be multiplied by 3.7 to get my voltage. Now it's very important when you go to put this in your calculator that you remember this part here must be in brackets when you put it into your calculator otherwise it will not work. So once you put all that into your calculator you will end up with a really long number but if I simplify it down it should be 2.3 7 volts rounded to two decimal places and that is how we answer the voltage divide equation using the Bayer equation.